Hello, I'm Javis Lewis and in this episode I'm going to show you a quick trick of how to create morphs in DAS Studio as a little follow-up video of what I did a couple of days ago about how to create morphs with ZBrush and DAS Studio. So what I've explained in that video is how to use a little tool called GoZ kind of bridge or the go z functionality to literally without having to save intermediary files out to your hard drive you can literally just press a button send a figure over from dash studio over to zbrush do morphs in it and then press another button and it kind of magically reappears in dash studio and i had a couple of questions there on that video in along the lines of is it possible to do that without the GoZ brush um, application and and do it so that uh, we save an intermediary file so that we can perhaps you know share it with other people and yes that is possible I've tested that this morning and I thought I'm going to show you how that works I'm going to explain the principle once again with Das Studio and ZBrush but of course it's not limited to ZBrush if you want to use the same principle f with other 3d modeling applications like whatever hexagon or blender it'll work just the same way so let me show you how this works with an item of clothing i've got one here in my smart content tab under the wardrobe category and let's just use this one here casual heat outfit for genesis 3 males so let me go in there and bring up uh, maybe just the shirt here there we go. I've got this uh, is showing in the smooth shaded view, so it would usually look like this. But because the texture is a little bit busy, I'm just going to go and uh, put that back to the smooth shaded view. So it's just let's it uh, lets us look at this a little bit more comfortably, I guess. So without, if I wanted to create a morph in this, like a, like the shirt kind of wafts open, or I want to make the arms wider, or something else, then what I can do is with the shirt selected, I can export this as an OBJ file, and we do that by heading over to File, Export, and then I'll pick a place on my hard drive. Perhaps the desktop is a good idea. Save your oh, file name. Good point. Yeah, let's put the file name. Let's just call it uh, shirt. And then I get these uh, export options that I can set. They have presets here, so you can pick one of these. I would recommend we just stick with the Das Studio preset here and just leave everything else as, as it is the default. Hit accept and that'll create that OBJ file on our desktop. I'm going back into ZBrush here, if I can find it, there it is. And in here, I'm going to use this import dialog at the top right here. That's under the in the tool options here. And there it is, my shirt. I can double click it and then I can see a little preview here already. And uh, to bring that into ZBrush and make it editable, we can drag that out on the screen. Maybe hold shift down so that it's you know, nice and un unscrewed on the screen. And then immediately go into edit mode. And one of the things that I can tell here is that the double-sided polygon function is not switched on. So we can, it appears like we're seeing through the shirt here. So I believe that is under the display properties. And there it is, this button there called double. If we click that, then we have the shirt like we would see it in Das Studio. Now, here's the thing that I suck at, sadly. I thought I'd just warn you about that. In order to create a morph for the shirt to waft open, I guess I could uh, use the standard brush. I'm sure there's other uh, ways that I, that I can uh, create a much better morph, but that is the, the only way I, can, I know how to do this here. And so I'll just morph my item somehow like this. I don't even know why it doesn't, doesn't work that well. Something recognizable. Then I'll put some some stuff on the on the front here. So there we go. So this now looks different or way different than what we've just seen in Das Studio. Once I'm done with my morph, I can use this export option at the top right here. That's also under the tool settings here under the tool palette. Click that and save another version of your shirt. And you can over save that. This is just an intermediary file, or you can call it something else. I'll say uh, it's the shirt is morphed and I'll put that back on my desktop. Now, we're going back into Das Studio. So this, this would be applicable to any modeling application, no matter where you want to do that. I'm going back into Das Studio with my shirt selected here. I can head over to the Edit option, and I head over to Object, 
And there's these two little things I can choose one of. It doesn't matter which one we use. It's Morph Loader Advanced and Morph Loader Pro. We have two because they used to be kind of plugins and one was more pro than the other when we had different versions of Dash Studio about maybe 10 years ago or longer ago when we had Dash Studio Pro Advanced and uh, Dash Studio, I don't know, Basic or something. And it's just still in there in the same functionality. So we have both to choose from. Either one will work fine. I'm going to use Morph Loader Pro. And that brings up this little dialog box here. And once again, we can pick a preset here from which we can choose. Since we've exported this from Dash Studio with the Dash Studio preset, let's leave the import option on the Dash Studio preset as well to keep it all cohesive there. Now, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. There's, uh, there's several options here. Uh, this is the button that we need to click, which says choose morph files. And that'll be an OBJ file that we can bring in that will create a morph on the item of clothing or on the 3D object that we've got in Dash Studio right now. There's another one here, load object, load project object. That's not the one to click. So click this one, choose more files and select the one that we've exported from ZBrush or any other 3D modeling application. So shirt morphed in my case. Let's open that and it has it down here. All we need to do is hit accept and hopefully wait for this success message which says created morph successfully. If you do get any spurious error messages here that Dash Studio was unable to create that morph in the clothing, then it's likely that the geometry between what's currently in Dash Studio and what has been saved externally with another 3D modeling application has changed. So sometimes those vertices get updated, one gets forgotten, a couple get added, or in ZBrush if you use DynaMesh then you have a much better result, but of course the geometry has changed and then Dash Studio can't create another morph with the same geometry. So make sure that hasn't changed. Click OK and apparently nothing much has happened here, but that's because the morph has been created with the shirt selected under the parameters tab. We can go under the morphs section here and there's shirt morph so that's the file name that i've given it that is also changeable in the import dialog there in the morph loader pro have a look into that that's uh, it's possible to rename that morph and put it into a certain place so if you're creating several morphs this way then that's a good way of uh, of making sure they end up in the correct categories and then if i crank that slider up then you can see i've got the same terrible morph that i've just created in zbrush so that is how that works and that's how you can use ZBrush or any other 3D modeling application to create morphs in an external application and bring them into an item of clothing or a figure in Dash Studio. That was it for today. I hope that was helpful for Roger and for MHLI. I still don't know how to pronounce your name, by the way. But uh, yeah, that is, that is how you do it. If you have any other questions, then please don't hesitate to put them down in the comments. And um, don't forget to join me next Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for another Dash Studio Live session. I'm not sure what I'm going to cover, but if you have any ideas, please let me know. My friends, take very good care of yourself and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.